What's up, YouTube? So today I'm going to be showing you how I make QB memes. So I'm going to be showing you how I made a QB meme in QB memes compilation part one, one in part two, and another one in part three. Starting off with uh, the first meme, it's in QB memes compilation part one. So the one I'm going to be showing you is this one. So this means that says, want to see me solve this cube in 3.47 seconds? Want to see me do it again? So first off, what I'll do is I'll search up the image, want to see me do it again? And it'll take me to here, this one. Uh, I selected this image. I'm going to save image as. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save another image, and this one is Yusheng Du. So I'm going to save that as well. But I'm going to be doing something a bit different. So I'm going to, since I'm doing this on the Chromebook, I'm going to be taking a screenshot. So I'll just press Control Shift, and then I'll be pressing the other icon, which has a rectangle and two lines next to it. So I'll press that as well, and I'll crop the image. Now I'll only select about this much. I got that. I'll also be selecting Moyu Weilong GTS 2M because this is the cube he used to break the world record. So I'll search for images for that. Go under transparent. Have this one. I'm gonna save image. I'm gonna save. There we go. Now I'm going to be going on to the, another website called Pixlr X. So I'm going to be going there. And I'm going to be opening an image. So the image I'm going to be opening is the SpongeBob one. So it's uh, this one. So it's a cute SpongeBob meme. And I'm going to be browsing for two more images. The, you should do one and the cube one. This one, so I'll overlap it on on SpongeBob's face. So like uh, this size, right there, and browse. I'm gonna select GTS two. Add current. One two. This. About like this size, I say, move here and there. And for text, I the first text text I'm gonna be adding is, wanna see me solve this cube in three point four seven seconds? The question mark. I'm gonna put an Arial font. I'm gonna reduce the size to about. 28. Then I'm going to be adding another text. It's going to say, Want to see me do it again? And since you can't see it well here, because the it looks too white, I'm going to be blackening it so you can properly see it. It's like this. So this is the final result. Now the second meme I'm going to be showing you is in part two, so the, the meme I'm going to be showing you is this one. So it shows a person getting beaten up by a bunch of people. So the image that I selected was person beaten up meme. Or images. So it's this one. This is the image that I selected. I'm going to save image as. I'm going to save, and boom, baby. Then I'm going to go to Pixlr X. Then I'm going to open image. Then I'm going to select this one. I'm going to create new. So I got this meme. And I'm going to be adding a bunch of text. So the first one I'm going to be adding is my 4x4 PB. So the 4x4 PB is basically a person getting beaten up. So, 
want to reduce the size to about here. Going to be adding another one, so it's OL parity. Want to put about here. The other one is PLL parity. Want to put about here. The other one is pop. Actually, PLL parity is about here. The other one I'm going to be putting is Pops. So Pops is basically the one uh, that's currently being at the person. And another one is Wrong Color Scheme. So it's this one. And see where it is. Oh, it's uh, there. So I'm going to put it there. And the other one is... Uh, Messing up on edges, so you can mess up on edges in 4x4. I just want to put a space between the on and edges. And I'm going to put another one, the final one, which is catches slash lockups. So it's going to be here. So this is the final result. Now for the third one, it's going to be a bit different. So this is going to be a meme that uh, has a meme template. So it is going to be this one. So it's the Despicable Me meme. So I just search up the Groom meme template. And just find it. And it's like over there. Just the image that I selected. I'm going to save image as and save. I know the image is reversed, but I'll fix it later. I'm going to toggle home. I'm going to open another image. I'm going to open this one. Create new. So I'm going to adjust and Going to rotate it like that, like this. And now I have this one. I'm going to be adding different text. So the first one is a double X cross. So I'm going to be adding this. Arial font. I'm going to blacken this. I'm going to reduce it. I don't care if it's the incorrect font. And I'm going to add the other one. It is OL skip. Darken it. I'm going to put it here. And then the final one is a VPerm. Yes, everyone hates VPerms. I'm going to put it there. I'm actually going to duplicate it. So this is the result. So that is it for my video on how I make QB memes. So be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.